So thank you for joining us. We have uh, Mohan Raj Pradhan from HealthNet Nepal, uh, who is also the Secretary of ViewFind's Project Management Committee. And he will be presenting on uh, secure sockets layer for library software with reference to free SSL certificates. So please uh, go ahead, Mohan. I'm from Nepal and I am chairman of HealthNet Nepal a non-profit organizations, and I am also working as a secretary from Wine Software. So today my topics of presentation is SSL for library software with reference to free SSL certificate uh, focused on let us encrypt. In library software, Username and, uh, and password is required to access the, any databases. In most developing countries like Nepal, the protocol being used is the HTTP, not SSL is being used. And this was invented 30 years back. But any data being sent through HTTP is open. and can be manipulated by third party before it reaches to the destination, that is server. HTTPS requires a TLS certificate to be installed on the server. Certificates can be applied to different protocols like HTTP, SMTP, and FTP. An SSL or TLS certificate by storing randomly generated key in a server. The public key is verified with the client and the private keys is used in the decryption process. HTTP is just a protocol, but when paired with TLS, it becomes encrypted. Thus, HTTP appears in this form. In this study, the discussion is limited to free SSL certificate due to its availability free of cost and suitable to library software in developing countries, just like Nepal. Free SSL certificate provides the same le level of encryption as the paid ones. Free SSL certificates, there are two types. One is the self-signed and the another one is the certificate issued by the certificate authority. Self-signed certificates are those where there is no need of a certificate authority to generate the certificate. But if one does not have a domain name and only IP address, they can they can issue the self-signed certificate. But here, and the certificate authority is the another free SSL certificate signed by certificate authority, and it is limited to domain validated. So this is the command how SSL goes to the from the server to the user. Here, I am discussing the SSL being installed in Debian 11. So what are the prerequisites needed for this one? One is the Debian 11, another one is the SSL with sudo or root access, and another one is the comfort with Linux commands, and another one is the port 80 and 443 are allowed on firewall IP tables materials and methods. As a prerequisite, a non-root user configured with the pseudo privilege and Apache web server are needed. In this presentation, we are not discussing about the self-signed certificate, but we are discussing about the SSL related with the domain name. And in the and the software packages which we are talking for generating the SSL are Toha ILS, DSpace, ViewFind, and WordPress. Another presenter uh, is Parvati, is sick now, so uh, her part also I am presenting. So I am presenting Toha ILS, ViewFind, and WordPress, and DSpace will be presented by my colleague. Jaya from the Sri Lanka. So I'm, I am limiting 
So first I will start the Koha ILS to find an WordPress. So before doing this one, there are certain pre-configurations and how after uh, the SSL is uh, developed, where it will be saved? It will be saved in a directory, etc, let us encrypt directory. Then Apache configuration has to be modified to take advantage of this. The adjustment will be done this creating a configuration specific to specify strong default SSL set, modify the included SSL Apache post request file to find the generated SSL certificates. Enabling the changes to be made in the Apache. So these are the prerequisites. First of all, instance name has to be created in etc Apache to sites available instance name. Sometimes it is automatically created when the software packages just like Koha, DSpace and WordPress as uh, being installed. But in some software packages at the time of installations, this uh, files are not created and later on it has to be created. I'm going step by step how it has to be created and how it has to be used if the same one is being developed or being installed at the time of installations of the software packages. If the uh, instance name file is not being created, it has to be created in etc fs2 sites levels and this is instance name the here you have to put the actual uh, instance name with the command line nano then this uh, command has to be uh, run sudo inside this will enable the new virtual host and then the another command has to be run sudo sudo a to in mode rewrite this will enable the rewrite and then sudo system ctl restart apache function this will restart the apache wars web server to allow all changes which we have just made if there is no syntax error whatever we have done then config test can be done with the following command and if there is no error it will show the following output syntax is okay and in uh, SSL being generated, being developed by latest inscript also, there are two types of software packages which can be used. One is the SNAP and the another one is Python 3 certificate for Apache. They are the same application but different methods of distributing. The certificate board team recommends using SNAP as it will be most up to date using the SNAP distributions method will give the best chance of best compatibility in the future. But here I am showing the demo of the both type of software being used. First of all, I will show how to install the certificate board on Debian 11 through the SNAP software. First of all, you have to run this command sudo apt update and then sudo apt install snap d then update the step D with this command. Then if there is uh, any uh, other previous uh, certificate board package, you have to remove that one with this command. Then you, you, uh, then you can install the certificate board with this command. Sudo step is install classic certificate board. board. Then, once it is installed, the following command has to be executed to ensure the certificate uh, board command can be run. sudo link minus s snap bin certificate board, user bin certificate board, at the rate uh, local cost. Then, after doing this one, then uh, you can uh, run the certificate board to generate the SSL, pseudo certificate board Apache. After, after this, it asks some questions. 
First of all, it asks the email. Second, do you like to agree the terms and conditions? Then you have to give the answer A. Then it will ask the whether the email addresses can be shared or not. You can do yes or no. Now the draw, now if it is successful, it will show that your SSL has been successfully congratulations, and it will show that your uh, SSL for the domain name given by you has been successfully generated. Then it will uh, be saved in the latest encrypt, and it will also uh, save it in latest encrypt live, and then your domain name comes. The actual domain name will be at here. Now I will show you how the SSL will be generated for the Koha ILS. There are a little bit difference between Koha ILS, WordPress, view find, and D space. Koha is widely used open source software in library automations. So by default, Koha has only one configuration. There are uh, two uh, domain name needed, one to access the OPAC and another one to access the admin. But all these two files are incorporated into one at the time of installations in sites levels and in sites enabled. By this uh, single file, the instance name .conf, the instance means it means the any instances which you have created. You can use this only one, or you can separate the. So under this, there are two files: one for OPAC and another one for admin. So you can uh, split it into two parts: OPAC and admin parts, and it will have the better control. Uh, with this uh, single file also, you can uh, generate the SSL. So here, uh, the one file has been uh, divided into two parts. And then I have given the name opac library dvd lsnet.org.env and then for admin staff library dvd these two parts have been generated and you have to run with this one a2 insight command this is so these are the commands and then the another benefit of the uh, certificate vote is that non-standard port can also be used in this one. Just like at, at 1001 and at 1002. These are the non-standard ports. This can, but it will uh, redirect to the SSL. Just like this one, it is redirected to that one. And then after that one, the non-standard port at the time of installations, it has to be, uh, you can create the one, but after uh, the SSL has been created, there is no need to put time and again, the port. So here I will show you the real one. So this is the So this is the admin, this one, this one. So uh, this is being, so locked one, this is means SSL has been created. And for this one, another one is the OPAC. So, so OPAC SSL has also been created. So I am saying to the live 
demo now the another software packages in wordpress how to create the ssl so here at the time of installations in the site tables automatically the instance name is created and in wordpress we are using the python certificate in earlier koha the uh, classic certificate uh, boat is uh, being used but here we are using the python free certificate boat apache another software package but it does the same things for the latest increment so here inside save labels the uh, file name is given the wordpress.com so here we have to uh, create this ones at port is being used and then in server the uh, your email address has to be given and here the server name has to be the actual here i have given the mydomain.com but your actual domain name for which you are creating ssl it has to be given and server alias usually in front of it www is being put it on and then the how to create this ones we have to do the a to insight and the instance name is wordpress so the for the easiness i have given the name but in real life situation whatever is the instance name you can replace this one and then rewrite a to in mode then after that you have to restart the apache to, to take whatever you have changes you have made then it is run under the folder site enable sudo certificate boot apache the command is the same only the software are different then it will ask uh the some questions which i had already shown then if it is successful the, the software is uh, being displayed here i will show you yes this is the wordpress one where the ssl has been uh, created and i am showing this one now the another software packages which we have tested is the view find then in view find also you have to create under etc apache 2 uh site save label directory the um, a file name here i have given the view file so with the nano the following things has to be put it on you can copy from another the virtual host uh port it is being used and server admin server name and server alias the document root usually it is in the user local view file and then the error log then the following commands has to be run a to inside view file dot com and then sudo certificate boot apache to create the uh, ssl and here i have given the server admin my name my email addresses and then the domain name uh wordpress.hellsnet.org in real life situation you can put your one here i will show you so this is the one with a uh, view find with the ssl being enabled here if you we click it will say the connection is secure certificate is valid
Now. Now, the one of the uh, defect, if you purchase the essential through the paid one, it will be for one year or two years. But here, uh, the free essential soft software, it is valid for 90 days. But you can renew that one for the unlimited period. So before ex expiry, let us inscript, we'll send a notice 30 days earlier. The certificate can be renewed with the following command, certificate both uh, renew, or you can put it in Chrome tab. Um, and every day it will check whether a particular certificate has been uh, expired or not, or going to be expired. Because after uh, before 30 days, you can renew it with these commands. You do uh, sudo for Chrome tab dash E, then at 1 p.m. it will be automatically renewed when the server is not busy. And it will check because uh, after being expired, so 30 days earlier, each SSL will, can be updated. So I am not presenting the um, D space part because my colleague Jaya is going to present. So I am concluding these parts apart from the uh, D space. In this study, process has been given to create domain validated certificates for Apache. For D space, let us encrypt for Apache is used in Koha ILS, WordPress, and Viewfind. All these procedures help to create SSL free of cost, which may be helpful for library professionals in developing countries or to those library organizations who want SSL free of cost. So this is my conclusion. So if you have any questions or later on when Zaya um, has presented, we can both answer your questions. So now I will stop at here.